Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create these Halloween rolling pins. They are great for any decor and would make a great gift to give someone or even sell at a craft fair or in a craft store. They cost me a little under a dollar each to create and they were so much fun to create. Now let's get started. crafters so to create these Halloween and autumn rolling pins you want to start in design space and I'm going to start on the left hand side here where it says text and I'm just going to type in a whole bunch of things that I want to cut out so I have on my mind I have spooky Halloween trick-or-treat candy corn hay rides and pumpkins you can add to or subtract any of those that you want but I'm just going to start with spooky oops and then I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops, I was wondering why this looks so funny. There we go, guys, I know how to spell. <laughs> then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to the text here and then just type in Halloween. And I'll move it over so I show you what it looks like. Go to the text again, Try type in trick or treat. And I saw this somewhere where, I'm gonna bring this down, where it says trick and then obviously or treat. But I also saw it where it had a little line in between each one of these, and I thought that looked kind of neat. So I'm going to try that. Yeah, I kind of like how that looks. Or maybe just get rid of the extra spacing here and see, whoops, see how that looks. I mean, it's all on how you want to do it. I just saw it, and I thought it looked kind of neat that way. So I'm going to leave that one, too. So I'm going to go to text, and I'm just going to do candy corn. And then I'll just do maybe one more and show you what it looks right, looks like. I can talk too, guys. My goodness. Hey, rides. There we go. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to do another one that says pumpkin. Just because that was on my list. <laughs> so the next thing you want to do is maybe not. You may or may not want to change the... Um, font on this. I actually do. I do not like this one. I have one in mind. So I'm going to go up to the font box up here and I'm going to type in skinny. And here it is. The skinny it's called. And this is just a regular one that you get from uh, Design Space. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one that you have to pay for if you don't have the yearly or the monthly subscription. I actually do pay for the yearly subscription. So that's where I'm getting this from. You could also go to devont.com and pick out a font that you like. Um, you just have to make sure that if you're going to be selling these rolling pins that you buy the commercial um license for it um, otherwise you could get in trouble so I have a video on that how to download Defont, how to download fonts from defont.com and put it into design space if you're interested in that so I'm actually going to leave the spooky one I'm going to find a different one for that one so I'm going to do all of these I think I really like this um, the skinny font so I'm going to go back up here and just click on it so all I'm doing is clicking on it going up to the font and it's already saved it from the last one that you've already done so I'm going to, whoa, <laughs> okay, that doesn't look so good anymore, guys. So I definitely do not like that with that in there. So I'm going to take this out and leave it that way. I don't know. I guess it must have been the font that it was. So for the spooky one, I'm going to do the same thing. Go up to the fonts, get rid of that one, and just kind of look quickly for, you know, something that r jumps out at you. I'm just looking for something that's bold. That's a little bit too bold um, and kind of scary looking, I guess. We're going to see what this one looks like. Something that's more bold is what I'm really going for. So, ooh, I do actually like that one. So this was the BFC Blueberry Pancake. Wow, it sounds good right now. <laughs> so I kind of like the way that one looks. Yeah, I like that one. And then I'm just going to do the same for this Halloween one. I'm just going to randomly find one. You might have one that you have in mind, but I'm just randomly going through this really quick to see. Oops, and I like this one so far. It's called Dreamland, but I saw that if you use it, you have to pay the $4.99. I think it was, yeah, right here, $4.99. So no thank you. I will keep scrolling to see if I can find something that is free. Again, you can go to defont.com and find something there. Um, um, but I actually like this one. So I think I'm actually going to leave them all that the way that they look. I love this spooky one. So for these, I figured for my rolling pins, they're seven inches long. 
So I'm going to actually do a 4 by 0.75 and see how that looks. So to do that, you want to select this, unlock your lockbox up here, and then change your width to whatever you want. I'm going to try 4 by 0.75 and see what that looks like. Not too bad. So I'm going to do that same thing with this, unlock it, and then change it to be whatever you want. Mine's going to be 4 by 0.4, uh, 4 by 0.75. Oof, you guys are having troubles talking. And the reason I'm doing uh, 0.75 instead of one inch long is I want it to be, or, or high, is I want to be able to see it. So I don't want to go too far. So I'm going to do this one really quick, show you 4 by 0.75. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this so you don't have to watch this, but I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay, so I changed all of these to the 4 by 0.75, as you can see up here. So the next thing that I'm actually going to do is um, change them all to be black, I think. Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'll do a few white and a few black. Because my colors are going to be, um, I'm thinking black, maybe red, some sort of green, and maybe an orange. So I'm kind of thinking what would go with that. So maybe candy corn, we could do white, and then we could put it on like an orange one. Hay rides is kind of like, you know, um, kind of more of a white color, right? Instead of doing like, a, let's say, tan or something, we'll do that in white as well. Trick or treat, I'm going to leave in black. Halloween, maybe we could even do this in orange. So it all depends on what colors you have on hand. You actually could go with this and um, change it to be trick, be orange, or the maybe like a uh, purple and treat could be black, but I'm just gonna actually leave this the way it is trick or treat spooky Obviously has to stay black, right? So I'm gonna change the pumpkins to orange and you can do whatever color you want You do not have to pick any of these colors that I am doing um, That's it So I'm just gonna go up to make it up here and I'm gonna show you which setting I always like to use when I'm using just regular 651 vinyl So it's gonna show it to you here so I'm just going to move it over just a little bit that I can get my scissors in between each one of these. Just move it over just a tad. But I love how this looks ready. Then I'm going to go to the continue button. And I have the maker machine. I absolutely love it. If you guys are upgrading, I would definitely look into the maker. Um, I know that they have a maker three. But I think really the only difference is, is you can put um, longer material in it. And it's a little bit faster. I think that's my understanding of it. So... I am in no interest of upgrading mine, but if you have like, you know, like an explore or an expression and you want to upgrade, I would definitely look into getting the maker. So here are my base materials. I always use the stencil vinyl one here. Um, I don't use a lot of Cricut brand. Um, I just use whatever's on sale and whatever I can find. So I will leave all of my supplies in the description below. Pretty much everything that I buy, I buy from Amazon. I don't head out too often um, to buy things. I kind of just get the idea and go ahead and purchase it on Amazon really quick. So I will leave all the links below to the things that I purchase. So I'm just going to click this stencil vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and put my white, black, and orange vinyl onto my green mat. I will cut this out. I will weed it out. And then I will show you the next step of painting your rolling pins and then how to apply this to it. Stay tuned, guys. I can't wait to show you the finished product. So while my SVG files are cutting out, I'm going to show you how to paint these. So I just bought these from Amazon. They're just little mini rolling pins. And um, I'm using some chalk paint, which, which I absolutely love. I, I love using this. It's just a Waverly chalk paint that will come in focus. There we go. Um, I, I, you can choose whatever colors you want, but I'm just going to go with, the, you know, traditional fall colors. Just this green, a little bit of a red, and then an orange as well. And then I also have black too, but this is not a Waverly paint. Um, so since I am a crafter, my kids think whatever's mine, they can use. So unfortunately, I do not have any, but I did find some of this black stuff. The reason I really love this Waverly uh, chalk paint is, is it's a lot thicker than regular paint and it, it dries extremely extremely quick so when you put a coat on here by the time you're done with this one and you go to the next one your coat will be dry on here so here are just the little tiny rolling pins I thought they were so cute um, so the, basically all you want to do is just take any kind of paintbrush I just bought these paintbrushes I think I got these at Hobby Lobby at like 40% off or I have a huge bucket I will show you guys really quick <laughs> of other paint brushes and such in here. I have these little foam ones I have down here. 
um, some little makeup brushes, little makeup sponges as well. Um, so I'm pretty quite prepared with this. So I'm gonna show you this really quick. So you just choose whatever color you want and then just basically you can just paint on. The reason I'm using a smaller paintbrush here is because I wanna get the edges on here. I don't know if you can see it really well, but it does have like a curve to it and I kinda wanna end that curve. So I'm just gonna choose, we'll start with green here first and just kinda go on here. And you can use like painter's tape on here if you want and just kind of get a straight line or you can like paint the whole thing if you want, but I'm just taking it and kind of going to the edge as far as I can. So there, so I got just the edge part right there. And it's up to you if you want to do the whole thing. I mean, you can definitely go ahead and do the whole thing, but I kind of just want to do the edge part. So I'm just going to take it and then just go all the way down. Chalk paint dries extremely quick. It's already dry. So, I mean, you can put it down if you want it. So there is that one. So I'm just going to leave this paintbrush here. Um, let's see. I'm going to put it on top of a cup over here on the edge so that it's not flat on anything. If you're going to stay for me. There we go. And then just do the same thing with the next one. So like I said, if you want to do the whole handle, you're more, more than welcome to. It's whatever you want to do in your project. You, you, know, you can do a different color on the handle and a different color on the actual roller itself. So I'm just going to fast forward this part and finish this one up. And then I will show you the next step of applying your vinyl stickers to it. I will have them weed in and already finished, kind of skip that process and um, show you the next step of putting these on and then how to finish them up and make them look really neat. So, All right, so this one is finished. I love the color of this one. There we go. And I did the edges really well. And I figure in, if you do make a mistake on the edges here, you can most definitely put ribbon or something or raffia or whatever on the edges so that you'll never even see it. Just as long as you're not covering the words that you're gonna put in the middle. So I'm gonna show you easily how to put on your uh, vinyl stickers on these. So stay tuned guys. All right, guys, so my rolling pins are completely dry. Um, I actually did end up doing two coats on these. Um, I didn't realize how much the paint would soak into it. Um, so depending on how many coats you want to do it and how dark you want to do it is what you're going to want to do. So here are the three colors I chose. Once this one comes in, there we go. Um, and my daughter came in and did this lighter color green one, which I really like. Um, so I love it when they come in and help me do things. So here are the uh, files that I did. So I have this spooky one and I have this pumpkin one, but you know, I couldn't find orange anywhere. So I just used a holographic kind of orangish color. It's kind of orange, it's kind of green, kind of neat. Um, and then I did this candy corn one, a Halloween one, trick or treat, and then the hayride one, which you probably can't see too well, but it turned out really cute. So the next thing you want to do uh, to finish these guys up is just take some transfer tape. I love this transfer tape. I talk about it all the time, except for there's a lot of dog hair on it. Um, I talk about this all the time. I bought this huge roll. I think it was like $15 or something, but it goes a really, really long way. And I love it. I think it's the Fresca, if I say it right. I'm, I can't remember what it's called. I'll leave it a link just in the description below in case you're interested in it. So I'm just gonna take a little piece off of here. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, the longest one that I need and just cut a piece off. I know people sometimes use like the dollar store uh, transfer tape. I was using that for the longest time, um, but then I was having problems with it. So I kind of just went to this one and I love this one because you can use it over and over and over and it will not lose its stickiness. So we're just gonna start with this first one. It's uh, Hay Rides. So I'm just gonna put it on here and then just use my little scraper and scrape it onto the transfer tape really well. And then what I like to do is actually flip it upside down and then make sure all the letters come off onto my transfer tape. Now is the fun part where you get to pick which one you want to put it on. So I'm just going to start with this orange one really quick. Oops, and show you guys. So kind of fun how you want to do it here. Um, if you want to put it like right in the middle, if you want to put it on the side more, I'm actually going to take it and put it more towards the side. Um, the S is more on the side because I think I'm gonna put some like raffia or ribbon or something on it. But then you wanna make sure that you put it turn this way in the middle. I know it's kind of hard to say in the middle, but you wanna make sure that your word is straight and you don't have it like crooked in any side. So then you just wanna use your fingers and then just push on here really hard and make sure that the vinyl sticks to your rolling pin. 
and I apologize for the noise in the background my door is open because it is so beautiful outside and I have a wind chime out there so if you guys hear that that's what it is so then I'm just gonna peel back my transfer vinyl and if it does happen if the vinyl does happen to come up just give it a little bit of help and hold it down um, but I'm using 651 vinyl so this is a permanent vinyl so it does take you know 24 hours to fully uh, set on here um, so I'm just using my thumb and as I'm pulling off the transfer tape I'm just holding down the letters and once it sits for a little bit like I said 24 hours it will become more sticky is that a work guys more sticky it will become stickier there we go <laughs> and then I'm just gonna save this transfer tape for the next one and then if it is coming up you can just use your thumbs and kind of push it down oh wow that is really cute um, but I sometimes if I find out I'm having vinyl not stick to wood very well you can use uh, Mod Podge and put it on there and then it should stick on a little bit more But you have to watch out for the Mod Podge if you use the glossy kind It's going to make all of your wood glossy, which I don't think I would like it in this instant But here he goes Once it will start There we go <laughs> Like I said, it's my husband's camera, so I'm rather new to this so and the full setup So I'm hoping this video is turning out really well. Is this video working well? Please let me know guys. Um, this is a new camera to me um, but this is the first one I guess I'm gonna take like some raffia or something kind of wrap around the edge or even take some um, really really thin uh, ribbon and put it on the side but I just want to show you this part first so there's the first one and then I'm gonna show you a thicker one so we're gonna try this um, spooky one I really like this one the spooky one here so I'm actually going to take I don't know should I do a red um, Sorry about that, now my dog's barking in the background, or this orange. I don't know, which one would look better in here? It's kind of like your own opinion on what you guys want. I actually like, I don't know, I kind of like the orange a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take the same piece of transfer tape and do the same thing I just did, take my squeegee and rub it on here really well. Like I said, I love this transfer tape. I will just use this over and over and just kind of put it to the side and keep using it until it is sticky no more. <laughs> So there, there's that part. And then just do the same thing. Just grab it and put it on here. I'm gonna do it kind of backwards so maybe you guys can see it better on camera here. And you know, now knowing what I know now, I think I might have went a little bit smaller than the four inches on here, uh, just because I would like to have put a ribbon right here on the side. I also was doing some more research uh, while this was cutting out um, and I saw that people were painting the handles a different color and I kind of like that. So maybe I'll go back and you know paint this handle like an orange color or go back and paint this one. Maybe the handles I'll do purple. I don't know. I think that was kind of neat. That would be like an extra step you could put in there. Um, but I just think these things overall are so dang cute. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just using my finger, my thumbs, and kind of pushing it on here, rubbing on really hard, and hopefully it will stick. Oh wow, this one's sticking a lot better. Maybe it was just the vinyl was too thin, but there, you just peel it off. Perfect, just like that. Look at, isn't that cute? Spooky. My mom would like this. She actually has a black cat and his birthday is uh, October 31st and his name is Spooky. So maybe I'll do that. I'll go back in here and maybe paint this black since it's already black here. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what it looks like in the ends, but I really like this. Spooky. Anyways, guys, are you liking this video tutorial? I hope so. Please give me a thumbs up if you are and hit that like button. I love hearing what you guys have to say about my tutorials. Please let me know, do you like this one? What can I do different? Have you made these before? So I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish these up and figure out which ones I wanna put on where. So any fun ways you can that guys can do this, please give me a tip. What else would you guys do? I think I might go back and color a few of the handles in as well, um, but I really like how these look. Um, I'm gonna have to finish them up. I'll show you what they got, what they look like, but in the meantime, Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Happy crafting everyone. Stay tuned to see what it looks like.